What's crack a lackin' y'all? Today I got a new issue on this laptop, which, as you can maybe tell, doesn't have a backlight. Um, so, uh, of course, I have it plugged in HDMI here just to show that the graphics card is uh, working inside the laptop. But, um, so, like, I'll go ahead and put a flashlight on, like, the 9, for example, because it's 9 o'clock. And look, you can see the 9. You can see what time it is. Um, so, it's some sort of an issue with the backlight. Um, it, uh, it's apparently, it could be the whole sensor that turns off the monitor whenever uh, you close the lid. I don't really think it is because I think if that was the case, then I don't think this would come up. So I don't think that's the case. Uh, with that being the case, uh, it, I feel like it could either be the uh, monitor cable, um, or the, like the screen cable, I guess, whatever you call it, um, and, or uh, possibly just the LCD going bad. Uh, on older LCDs, they had like a different power inverter that was separate from the LCD. I don't think that'll be on this, so I don't think it'll be something that'll go bad. Um, but uh, I'll go ahead and open this thing up and uh, we'll find out what's the issue on this computer. So if you have like this HP, for example, maybe it's the same fix. So let's figure out what's wrong with it. Well, I got an update on the computer, but first half Charlie's here with me now. He's being cute, trying to get some sun rays, even though it's a kind of a cloudy day, but uh, yeah, so cool stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, the laptop, basically what I did was, uh, uh, of course I had to take it all apart. I'm on the new mod mat, which is actually really awesome. Have my screws organized. Yeah, I'm pretty organized. Look, I have them all standing up like that. I know, I'm cool. Look at me. Look at me, I'm cool. <laughs> and if you're looking back there, I got some cookie stuff from my girlfriend, because you gotta treat your girlfriend every once in a while. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I took apart the laptop. Um, basically, uh, I could, I checked the connection on the back of the LCD right there and then I also check the connection which is uh, right there on the motherboard it's not plugged in I don't think right now after checking all that stuff it still didn't work by the way so uh, and there was like some fucked up stuff on the part of the screen right here so I think this computer uh, probably got messed up in a drop because uh, let me go ahead and pop off the power button right now so I can take this off oh shit Okay. Oh, what the fuck clip? God damn it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, basically, um, let's see. Uh, there's some ripped out screws right here, which uh, means the computer was probably dropped on that side of it. And, uh, I, and like the screen is fucked up on that side of the screen. So I think uh, basically what happened in this case is uh, it just got dropped and broke the LCD. So going to have to get a new screen for him. It's about like... 60 or 70 bucks for the LCD and then probably 50 or a little bit over that for labor or so. Fun stuff and I'm gonna try to put some uh, Gorilla Glue in, in those screw holes to see if they hold. Um, kind of a fat chance there but we'll see what happens. Um, so anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. I'll probably have a big update after this so uh, watch out! Okay guys, here's the final update on the HP laptop. Look at that! new screen and it's working. You can probably tell it's new because a uh, protective screen, uh, it's like sticking to the screen, but um, yeah. I guess you can kind of tell the tape there too, but yeah, it's just like sticking, so. Whoops. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's a new screen and uh, it's working, so that's cool. It's just, uh, I guess the backlight broke out on the screen itself, so uh, not too big of an issue, I guess, just replace the screen. Even though this is a 17 inch screen, so uh, on this laptop, uh, it was, um, you know, it was a little bit more expensive, like 60 or 70 bucks for the screen itself. Um, but uh, basically, if you're looking at this, uh, if you have this issue yourself, it could be the screen, but um, it also might not, so don't just go out and just buy a screen. Um, you always need to, need to test other things first, like, uh, you know, the connections on the screen and stuff like that. Um, that's like the first thing I usually do. Um, and then you can also replace the wire too, like there's the cable there. Uh, I feel like that almost never goes out, but it's always possible too. Um, but uh, yeah, it's usually smartest to start with um, the cheapest components to replace first and then move, a, move your way through that. Um, but uh, basically, got it figured out, so cool stuff y'all. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, and I put some Gorilla Glue on this. Um, it, it's not the prettiest job, like on the back side it still came through the screw hole. Um, you can kind of see that right there. But um, the nice thing is it's holding fairly well. Uh, it didn't really focus too great, my bad. But um, like as you can kind of see maybe, it's still, you know, not too bad. 
It's not terrible, at least. Th this side probably could use some, too, but, eh, whatever. So, there's my job. Looks like it's all, pretty much all finished. Just gotta put the bezel back on the screen, but pretty cool stuff. Thank you guys for watching this video. Drop a like on if you thought it was cool, and if you like to see these, uh, like, fixing computer videos. Uh, beyond that, you guys have a crazy mofo day. Peace out, y'all.